Hey, what's up? I'll do good. Okay. Oh, God. Dude, why are you making it so hard? The other day when Kib and I were at the beach, he accidentally lost his wallet. Inside of that wallet was his social security card, why he keeps that in there, I do not know. His health insurance card, his debit card, and a couple little personal items that I, I don't know, who cares? We're going to see Captain Weaver to get my <laughs> wallet back. Who the fuck is Captain Weaver? Captain who Weaver is, that? is the firefighter that found the bag full of my wallet and a couple others. That's right, a firefighter named Captain Weaver found Kip's wallet at the beach. I don't know what this day is. Look at the dust on your mirror. <laughs> Wash it, dude. Don't be lazy. Kib's car is metal dog trash. I asked him why the seatbelt sign was illuminated because clearly we had our seatbelts on and he told me that that just means the airbags don't work. We made it to the fire station, yet Captain Weaver and his little band of firefighter <laughs> brothers were nowhere to be found. Where do you think they are? I think they're probably out on a mission or whatever they, they call it. No, they didn't steal your wallet. It's the fire department. There's undercovers, dude. Undercover fire department everywhere. Undercover people aren't gonna steal your shit either. If they're undercover, how are you gonna steal it? Honestly, I think after dealing with this every day, I am, I'm ready to have a kid. Captain Weaver said, you can meet us at 29350 PCH. You will see a fire engine. We are at the cantina. Lately, Kib's been putting short bursts of words together that don't necessarily rhyme because he thinks for some reason this can push his agenda. Idle wild, idle people. wild, now let's get some fun tonight. Downtown, shake shake baby on the right road, mm -hmm. and I'm all mm -hmm. about that snow. Buckle up, if you don't, you'll have a truck trouble on the backside, down down here we go, upside frowns, loving it. As it turns out, Kib's shitty car is the only agenda we'd be pushing. Oh, oh, oh no. I need you to push the car backwards. Are you serious? Yeah. This is possibly the worst day of my life. It's in park now. Is it, a, is it bad? It's, it's mildly bad. Oh. After 20 minutes of fiddling with his car, Kib realized... There actually may be nothing wrong with the car. I, just, I don't think I started it. That was the only problem. After driving quietly, reflecting on past mistakes, we made it to the firefighter's luncheon at the cantina. And good old Captain Weaver came through for Kib. Yo! Oh my god, you actually got Why it? Why didn't they steal my debit card? Everything's in here, dude. They really saved the day on this one. You know, not all firefighters come in with, come with capes. What else could we be getting up to? Hard to, hard to say. In celebration of Kib getting his wallet back, we went out for mimosas. Cheers to the boys. We're just a couple of boys, and these are just a couple mimosas. You look, you look like a but our fancy little celebration day wasn't gonna stop there. We headed to an exotic car dealership to go shopping for both of our next rides. Taking videos of these weird cars too? No. Okay. Riveting, you childlike freak. Camaro convertible. Not too shabby. This is Mr. Clean's hybrid. Campfire section. Campfire section. Little planes come out of here. Oh. Germany makes some fancy cars, but then again, so does Isis. An Olympic runner. Baby goes fast, not like a Kenyan though. And that's when I ruined Kib's career by leaving this in. After the car dealership I went home to edit, Kib went back to his house, and later in the day we met up again, because Kib needed to shoot a video for his own personal channel. Oh, Jesus Christ, it took you that long to get down the stairs? You're winded! Currently, Kib lives with this guy right here, John. You don't see much of him, and that's my choice. He's a bad influence on Kib, and I find him deplorable down to the very nature of his soul. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, what are you doing? We have to go into its room. Its room. That's when I realized what Kib meant by its. Kib doesn't fully understand disabled people, and I think, in a lot of ways, that means that he doesn't understand himself. What are the chances I could borrow that wheelchair for like 15 minutes? Go down, go. Oh, no, dude, I need that! John! Come on! Fuck, John! Learn, learn to walk or whatever. I'm only getting started. I'm only getting started. Smooth like butter. While shooting Kib's weird little distasteful video, I heard some disturbing news from John. News that was going to change everything sooner than expected. News of the house foreclosing. You literally have to move out in what day? March, May 12th? 12th. That's in three weeks, less probably. Bunkies. Why didn't you tell me about this beforehand? I just learned out today. Is this actually true? Yeah. I can live with you and Lissa, mommy and daddy. You can. Hey, Parker, Um, now I'm gonna pitch you something and uh, 
just feel free to shoot me down immediately. Or don't. Okay, you know Kib, our friend? Are we throwing him a surprise birthday party? No, Parker, nobody needs a birthday party when you're past the age of 19. Stop it. I already have, like, the, the decorations in me. Oh, yeah. my God, no. Really? I don't, don't invite me, don't invite me to that. Don't invite me to that, please. Invite Steve, Forget invite the... Steve. So, he needs a place to stay until September. He's not able to stay at his house anymore. Everybody's moving to a different place, and he's out of a home May 12th. Can he stay with you just on your couch? For five months? You need money, Parker. I think I need more, a friend more than anything. Secure deal. Like Secure my deal. Secure the deal. Secure One, the deal. Two, three, take it. And One, there you go. Bang ring. Yo. Oh, wow. Honestly, dude, I didn't know This is why I'm in charge of the business. Oh, no, dude. 